اهلا بيكم في حلقه جديده لقناتنا انجليش فور ايرس النهارده ان شاء الله هيتضمن الفيديو نص الوحده الحداشر نص الوحده الحادية عشر معاني الكلمات ترجمه لكلمات النص الاولاني بالاضافه الى شرح وباوربوينت لدرس جرامر going to going to Ghana Let's start. Unit 11. What are you gonna do? What are you going to do? Going to do Ghana. Page 72. One. A month. Day. January. The first month of the year. First. Number one. First. One. February. The second month of the year. February 2nd 2 March March the 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 third 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 three the third month of the year the third month of the year April the fourth month of the year April 4th 4 May the fifth month of the year fifth 5 June, the sixth month of the year. Six, the sixth, th, the sixth, th, 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 th with x, with the x. The sixth month of the year. July, the seventh, the seventh month of the year. August, the, the plus vowel z, the eighth, the eighth month of the year. September, the ninth month of the year. October, the tenth month of the year. Tenth, ten, th, tenth. November, the eleventh month of the year. December, the twelfth, the twelfth month of the year. Dates. 13th 14th 15th 16th 17th 18th 19th 20th 20 American 20 20 in American we say 20 21st 22nd 23rd 24th 30th 30 31st TY soft DY 31st Birthday, the day you were born. Two words in exercise number two. Exciting, amazing, celebrate, to have fun. Celebrate, to have fun, at a special occasion. Celebration, fabulous, fabulous, incredible, that's great. Fabulous. Incredible, that's great. What are your plans? What a T of D, what are? What are your plans? To order a cake, to order a cake, to ask for a cake. Embarrassing, shameful, making you feel shy or uncomfortable. Embarrassing, shameful, making you feel shy or uncomfortable. Order. Order, ask for. Ask for, like food in restaurant. To ask for something, example, when you ask for food in a restaurant. Three, to be going to, plus main verb. Going to, gonna. Well, have a party. 
downtown downtown holidays in the US New Year's Day January 1st New Year's Day January 1st Valentine's Day Love Day February 14th Independence Day July 4th Halloween October 31st Thanksgiving Thanksgiving for Thursday in November Thanksgiving for Thursday in November Christmas December 25th Merry Christmas Merry Christmas to you Merry Christmas Merry Christmas to you Special Private Boyfriend Girlfriend Sounds like fun. Seems like fun. Sound? Seem. It's fun. Have a good Valentine's Day. Have a good Valentine's Day. The most important thing here is to keep the words, to keep the words by heart before you start to listen to the video or watch the video this is very important اهم حاجه اللي احفظ الكلمات حضرها كويس جدا عشان اثناء الشرح مش يبقى فيه ترجمه بالعربي فضل احنا نفهم كل حاجه بالانجليش ونجاوب على الاسئله ان انجليش unit 11 what are you going to do page 72 exercise 1 Months and Dates Part A Listen and Practice the Months January February March April May June July August September October November December Unit 11 What are you going to do? Page 72 Exercise 1 Months and Dates Part A Listen and Practice the Months January February March April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Months of the year. In the year, there are 12 months. January is number one. February is number two March three April is number four May number five June is number six July is number seven August is the month number eight September number nine October is number ten eleven November and twelve is December December is the month number 12. Complete the dates, then listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Page 72, exercise 1, part B. Complete the dates, then listen and practice. First, second, third. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, Page 72, Exercise 1, Part B. Complete the dates, then listen and practice. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twentieth, twenty first, twenty second, twenty third. 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. These are the dates. 1st, 2nd, 3rd. 3rd, 3rd, 3rd. 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 7th, th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 19th, number 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd. 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 31 ST, like this, first, 30, plus first, 30 is 30, number 30, TH. C. Class activity. Go around the room. Ask your classmates birthdays. When is your birthday? It's July 21st. When is yours? You ask your friend about the day he or she was born. The day of birth. Birthday, the day of birth. Exercise number two. Look at the picture. What do you do, what do you see? Young lady, young man. The young man is thinking. Is thinking about what? About cooking. They're talking about food, cooking. What is the girl doing? She's cooking. What's she cooking? She's cooking cake. She's cooking cake. This is oven. And all of this is a cooker. A cooker. Oven. Cooker like universal. Universal cooker. Or I cook. I cook. I cook cooker. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Page 72. Exercise 2. Conversation. Birthday plans. 
listen and practice. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. When is it exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? I'm going to go to my friend Kayla's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Is she going to bake a cake, too? Bake a cake? Oh, I'm not sure. Page 72, Exercise 2, Conversation. Birthday plans. Listen and practice. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. When is it exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? I'm going to go to my friend Kayla's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Is she going to bake a cake, too? Bake a cake? Oh, I'm not sure. Angie and Philip. Angie, are you going to do anything special, anything exciting this weekend? Are you going to do? Will you do anything exciting, exciting, interesting, exciting, interesting? This weekend, weekend, the day when people don't work, a day when the students don't go to the school, the students don't go to the school, well, I'm gonna celebrate my birthday, I'm gonna have a party, I'm gonna have a birthday party, oh, Happy birthday! When is it? When is it exactly? What is the date? When is your birthday? In which day? On which day? It's August 9th, Sunday. The coming Sunday? The 9th of August. So, what are your plans? What are your plans? What are your plans? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go to my friend Kyle's house. I'm going to go to Kyle's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. She's going to make a special dinner. Nice. Nice. Good. Is she going to bake a cake too? Is she going to make a cake too? Bake a cake? Oh, I am not sure. I am not sure. Maybe. So, first question. Is Philip going to do anything exciting this weekend? Yes, he's going to celebrate his birthday. When is Philip's birthday? It's August 9th, Sunday. What are his plans? What are Philip's plans? He's going to go to his friend Kyla's house because she's going to cook a special dinner for him. Is Kyla going to bake a cake too? He's not sure. Maybe. Maybe. He's not sure. Philip is not sure. Exercise number three. Grammar focus. Page 73. Page 73. Exercise three. Grammar focus. The future with be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. 
I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to cook dinner for you? Yes, she is. She's going to cook a special dinner. No, she's not. She's going to order takeout. Are your friends going to be there? Yes, they are. They're going to stop by after dinner. No, they're not. They're going to be away all weekend. The future with be going to. Be going to Ghana. Question? Answer. Question. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Going to Ghana. Are you gonna do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm gonna celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm gonna stay home. Is Kyla gonna cook dinner for you? Going to Ghana. Is Kyla is she gonna cook dinner for you? Yes, she is. She gonna cook a special dinner? No, she's not. She gonna order takeout. Takeout means she's not going to cook food at home. She is going to order meal from restaurants. She is going to order a meal from a restaurant. Are your friends gonna be there? Yes, they are. They gonna stop by after dinner. Stop by after dinner. After they finish the dinner, after eating dinner, they are going to visit me. Are your friends going to be there? No, they're not. They're going to be away all weekend. The future will be going to. Are, are you, are we, are they going to plus infinitive to make a question. Are you, are we, are they going to infinitive? Main verb. Answer yes or no. Yes, you, I, we, you, they. Yes or no, you, we, they. Are, no, aren't. Example. Are you gonna watch TV? Yes, I am. Are Ahmed and Ibrahim? Gonna do their homeworks? Yes, they are. Are Muhammad and Ali gonna do their homeworks? No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Is Kyla? Is she? Is he? Is she? Is it going to infinitive? Is Kyla gonna cook dinner? Yes, she is. Or no, she's not. Are your friends going to be there? Yes, they are. No, they're not. To make a sentence with going to, subject I, she, they, I, he, she, it, we, you, they, this is the subject, am, I am, is, he, she, it, they, we, you, are, going to, infinitive, infinitive main verb. Going to. We use going to or gonna to express the future. Subject, am is are, going to, going to, plus main verb. Going to, plus main verb. 
I'm going to travel all over the world. He's going to marry tomorrow. We're going to write a book next month. They're going to open school soon. My verb am is are, going to, plus main verb, main verb infinitive, like travel, marry, write, open. Words, tomorrow, next month, soon. Time, time expressions, or key words, soon, tomorrow, in the future, next month, on Friday, next weekend. All of these words express the future. Okay, for the future questions, specifically the yes and no questions, remember, in the affirmation, we use subject, be, going to, and the verb. Now, in the affirmation, be is the auxiliary. It is not the principal verb. The principal verb is here. So remember, in the question, we use the auxiliary first. For example, be first, because it is the auxiliary then the subject, then going to, then the verb. So remember, in the question, be, subject, going to, and then the verb. So for example, the question, am, am I going to play soccer next week? And remember, in the short answers, we say yes or no. So, for example, am I going to play soccer next week? Yes, I am. Or no, I am not. Another example of a question, is he going to play soccer next week? Yes, he is. Or no, he isn't, for the short answer. Is she going to play soccer next week? Yes, she is. Or no, she isn't. Very good. For example, are they going to play soccer next week? Yes, they are. Or no, they aren't. Are you going to play soccer next week? A normal answer is yes, I am. Or no, I am not. Very good. Okay, now it's time to practice. A. What are these people gonna do this weekend? Write sentences, then compare with a partner. Picture 1. They're going to go dancing. They're going to go dancing. Picture 2 He's going to read. He gonna read. 3 He's going to swim. He gonna swim. 4 She gonna walk. 5 They gonna play tennis. They gonna play tennis. 6 she gonna buy. She gonna buy. Seven. They gonna watch TV. They gonna watch a movie. They gonna watch a movie at the cinema. They gonna go to the movies. Go to the movies. Go to the cinema. He gonna call someone. He gonna call someone, he gonna telephone someone. B. Pair work. Is your partner, is your friend, 
gonna do the, the things in part A this weekend? Is your friend gonna do the things in part A this weekend? Ask and answer questions. Are you gonna go dancing this weekend? Your friend answer, yes I am, no I'm not. So in this exercise, you're going to ask your friend about these actions, about these pictures. Number one. Are you going to dance this weekend? Yes, I am. Are you gonna study English this weekend? No, I'm not. Are you gonna swim? Are you gonna swim in the pool? No, I'm not. Are you gonna do exercises? Are you gonna hike? Are you gonna walk? Sure, I do. Are you gonna play tennis? Yes, I am. Are you gonna buy something? Yes, I am. Are you gonna go to the movies? Are you gonna watch a movie in the cinema? Yes, I am. Are you gonna telephone someone? Are you gonna call somebody tonight? Sure. Yes, I am. For pronunciation, production of going to. In speaking, going to Ghana. Going to Ghana. Page 73. Exercise 4. Pronunciation. Reduction of going to. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of going to, to, gonna. Are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna meet a friend. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Page 73, Exercise 4, Pronunciation. Reduction of going to. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of going to, to, gonna. Are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna meet a friend. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. For pronunciation, Reduction of going to. Reduction, shortage, abbreviation. Abbreviation of going to. In speaking, going to Ghana. Ghana. Are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna meet a friend. No, I'm gonna meet a friend. Are you gonna go to restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to next cafe. Her work, ask your partner, ask your friend about his or her evening plans. Try to reduce going to. Ask your friend about his plans of this evening. Use gonna. Are you gonna watch TV? Yes, I am. Are you gonna play football? No, I'm not. Are you gonna do the homework? Yes, I am. Are you gonna chat? No, I'm not. Exercise number five, listening. Evening plans. You look at the picture here. There are five persons so, what are they doing? A. It's 5.30 p.m. It's a half past five in the evening. What are these people's evenings plans? 
What are their plans? What are they going to do? Write your guesses in the chart. Michelle is going to go to the gym. Guess, think. What is Michelle going to do? Michelle is going to go to the gym. Kevin, Kevin is wearing purple, purple shirt. He has a mobile. He's looking at time. Maybe he's talking to someone. So Kevin is going to meet a friend. He's going to meet a friend. Kevin gonna meet a friend. Meet a friend. Meet a T S F D. Kevin gonna meet a friend. What about Robert? Robert is wearing a tie. Had a briefcase. He's wearing white shirt. Brown pants. He has files, papers. He's wearing glasses. He's bold. He's middle-aged. So Robert, I think, he's going to go to work. Or he's going to work. He's gonna work. Robert, gonna work. Jackie? Jackie? She has a lot of things. She's is having maybe like... Uh, Groceries, groceries. So she gonna cook. She gonna cook. Jackie gonna cook. She's going to cook. B. Listen to the interview. Interview, interview. An American will say interview and interview. What are the people really gonna do? Complete the chart. What are they going to do? Listen and repeat. What they really gonna do? Evening plans. Part B. Listen to the interview. What are the people really going to do? Complete the chart. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? Michelle. I think you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to my friend's house. He has some new video games. Oh, I see. So you're going to play video games this evening? Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Sure. My name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And what's your name? I'm Jackie. Do you have any plans for this evening? It's my sister's birthday tomorrow, so I'm going to bake a cake tonight. That's nice of you. Are you going to give her a party? Not really, but she's going to come over for dinner tomorrow night. Page 74, Exercise 5, Listening. Evening Plans, Part B. Listen to the interview. What are the people really going to do? Complete the chart. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? Michelle. I think you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to my friend's house. He 
You have some new video games. Oh, I see. So you're going to play video games this evening? Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Sure. My name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And what's your name? I'm Jackie. Do you have any plans for this evening? It's my sister's birthday tomorrow, so I'm going to bake a cake tonight. That's nice of you. Are you going to give her a party? Not really, but she's going to come over for dinner tomorrow night. The interviewer is from KXQ, KXQ News Radio, and he asked them different questions. What are they gonna do tonight? What they are really gonna do? Michelle? Michelle is going to meet her friend. Michelle is going to meet a friend. She's gonna meet a friend. They are going to run together. They're going to run. They're gonna run. Michelle and her friend. Kevin? Kevin is going to play video games. Kevin gonna play video games. Rupert? Robert gonna work at home. Robert gonna work at home. Jackie. For Jackie, Jackie gonna bake a cake. Jackie gonna bake a cake. Again the answers. Michelle gonna meet a friend. She gonna meet a friend. Kevin. He gonna play video games. Robert. He gonna work at home. Jackie. She gonna bake a cake. Snapshot. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Holidays in the United States. Look at the picture where you see some people. They're singing, dancing. They're having fun. This is New Year's Day. This is on January the 1st. Let's listen. Page 74, exercise 7. Snapshot. Holidays in the United States. Listen and practice. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, the fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Holidays in the United States. New Year's Day, this is January the 1st. People sing, dance, they have fun. Valentine's Day, this is Day of Love on February the 14th. People give chocolates and flowers to the people they love. Independence Day, July the 4th, the 4th of July. They celebrate it by fireworks. Halloween is on October 31st. The kids, the children, 
take candies. They say to record candies from their neighbors. Thanksgiving. It's on the fourth Thursday in November. The Americans celebrate the harvest. They eat a meal and a large turkey. Turkey is a bird. Bird. They cook a large turkey, a big bird. Christmas. This is on December twenty-fifth. The children. Get a lot of gifts, a lot of presents. Do you celebrate any of these holidays? Yes, we celebrate New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, and the Christmas in Egypt. What are some holidays in your country? In Egypt, we have different holidays. We have the breakfast feast, Eid al-Fitr. Or fetter feast, we have Adha feast, or the sacrifice feast. The sacrifice feast, Adha feast. We have Labor's Day and Mother's Day. What's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Adha feast, the sacrifice feast. It's a very long holiday. It's a holiday for one week. Sometimes we stay for one week. That's all. Homework. One. Keep the words by heart. I know for the kilomet quite good then. Number two. Listen and repeat. Study the lecture and the video. I know it's my quite good then. We'll cover it one or two or three. Number three. Answer three pages of the workbook, Unit One, Unit Eleven, Interchange Intro, Interchange Intro, Fourth Edition, Unit Eleven. And go to the first page, the Interchange Intro, the Tabar Raba. Number four, go to www.interchangerkid.org. Then go to www.interchangerkid.org and go to the questions. Number five, watch the video of interchange intro unit eleven. And it's far away. The part of the video that I'm going to do interchange the one to the eleven. Wish you all good luck. Hope you like it, share it, and subscribe. Thanks God. That's the end of. Unit 11, Part 1